Okay, I'd like to show you how to set up a synchronization between an Outlook contact folder and a MailChimp list. So let's have a look at my MailChimp list first of all. Okay, here's my list, it's called Peter's Posse. Um, I've got 705 subscribers in my list um, and I've got um, let's just have a look at the list fields so we've got a number of different fields within the list but in addition to the fields I've also got a group set up and within my group I've got the groups football, hockey, shooting and sailing and uh, so I want to import I want to synchronize um, this information as well into my Outlook contact folder so I can see that when I'm in Outlook. So I've set up a new folder here called Peter's Posse, um, which happens to be the same name as the list, but it doesn't need to be. And if I go into MailChimp, I click Set Up Synchronization. Now what we're doing here is we're going to set up to regularly be able to synchronize from any changes from Outlook into MailChimp and any changes from MailChimp into Outlook. So I select my list, I select my folder and then I choose whether I want the full sync which is two-way um, or I can also set up so it only imports or only exports. Um, I then I've already set up my field mappings um, and you'll see that I've set up, um, let me just delete this, so you can see what I've done, I'm just going to delete that. I've actually created for my group uh, a custom field, so I'm going to click on use custom field for the group, um, and if I look in the drop down, there's a list of existing custom fields, and there's, um, so that there are no existing custom fields in there at the moment, so I'm going to create a new one called Interested in. Okay, um, I can't use spaces or certain characters in the name, but I'm going to save that and it's now added that to my list. So the mapping is set up. I can then decide whether or not I want to use double opt in just a welcome email or no email to the contacts in the list. Um, I've then got the options to decide whether or not to import unsubscribed contacts um, and whether to import contacts which have hard bounced or soft bounced. And finally, because we're doing a two-way synchronization, I have to decide if there's a conflict. In other words, if something has been updated in Outlook and also at the same time in MailChimp, which one of those conflicts I want to win. Uh, and I can set it up either for Outlook to win for MailChimp to win or for the first or the last edit to win. So that's all set up as I want it now. I'm going to click save and you'll see we now get the option to sync all, refresh the data. So I'm going to sync all. Uh, it says I'm about to refresh a copy of the list and this option is available later if we want to do a full sync. Normally it just does an incremental sync of any changes but if we click this button it will, down it will download all the changes uh, all the items in the list. So we we'll click yes. My list is going to close and you can see down here it tells me that it's refreshing the list and it may take just a little while because we've got 705 items but it shouldn't take too long. Okay and now we've got the list imported and you can see it says it's got 705 contacts in the list um, and then just to show you how we can go ahead and uh, set up uh, to sync either manually or automatically um, if I click sync now any anything which has been set up in this form uh, will be synchronized so we can have one or more lists set up you'll see this one says that this list isn't set up but my list for Peter's Posse is set up and that will automatically sync. Um, and I can also go into the configuration into other settings. At the moment we've got it set to manual sync only. There's a background sync which will run every 60 minutes and that will just refresh the data but it won't import anything into Outlook. 
so the manual sync um, or the synchronization is set to run manually only at the moment if I untick that I can tell it how how often to sync everything into Outlook you need to bear in mind that while it is synchronizing into Outlook uh, Outlook may freeze um, because it actually has to run within Outlook uh, and so Outlook can only do one thing at a time so if you are happy with that and you want it to sync regularly you can set it to do an automatic sync um, or you can get it to sync only manually but the background sync will download any changes ready to be imported into Outlook uh, whenever you click the manual sync so that's the and that was in the configuration other settings so I'm just going to show you how this works we'll just go into somebody at random this contact here and um, I'm going to change his phone number um, we'll, call, we'll do all the ones so save and close so his phone number has been updated and we'll just do sync now and it's now just going to do an incremental change so it shouldn't take very long Okay, so that's done. We'll go into the groups. We'll view the subscribers. Oh, view the subscribers. And if I if I view my last changed we can see that Chris Farrell is there and his new phone number has appeared in the list so it's automatically updated for me so now whenever I want to synchronize I can just click the sync contacts now button and any changes will be synchronized uh, either from Outlook to MailChimp or from MailChimp to Outlook <coughs>